This is it, guys. Scarface's final opponent. The f his final path to redemption for his crimes ag against the Predator race, whatever redemption shit. Fuck it. Let's kill Hunter. Which was what I wanted to do, but those fucking samurais are gonna be staying my way. Stop running! Come back here! Why are you running? Why are you running? No! No! Stop! Come back! Come back! Pussy! Pussy, stop running! I killed your father and I'm gonna kill you too! God damn it! Stop running! I think I should fight him with just a worst place. I never did that, I think. Okay. Even though I got him my, my beautiful Mao up. Wait, look. Hey, stop. You're gonna fight his samurais first. Because I don't want to accidentally kill them. My god, the risk was not very good. God, yeah, they stay my way. If I try to attack a uh, hunter like this, I'm gonna end up killing the samurai. Which is gonna count as a dishonorable kill. These guys are just so fucking annoying. Where are you guys? Oh, there you guys are. Okay, while you guys are having fun, I'm gonna scan Hunter because I'm bored. I don't have anything to do. Yeah, there we go. Cyborg, Mark, Fire, High Resident Wall, Media Attacks from my side, Blunt. Light Media Attacks, Anti Harvest of Edge Media Attacks. Boys, I need City Boss, Heavy, Genetic, and Cybernet Neural Augmentation Detected. Not only like he has used the Predator Bloody and Body Parts on him, like. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he even have eat, eaten uh, Predator bodies, whatever, Predator flesh. But he's also using Cybernetic Hasten, so he's like a cyborg Predator human hybrid. He has like, yeah, Cybernetic modification. He also have like metal on him, you know, he's a cyborg. This, yeah, on top of that. Providing immersive strength and mobility. Genie engineered skin uh, pro gives protection equivalent to body armor. Genie engineered eyes given thermal. Graphic vision cap, yeah, he has thermal vision on his eyes. He have like lens on his eyes and god. Hey, fuck you I'm scanning you dude He's gonna throw the disc at me. Fuck you No They took like 30% uh, of his HP bar, which is something Okay, what are wrist plays you want a knife fight? Oh my god, he barely does any damage on him. Uh oh. It's very easy because if you do like this, you just do one, two attacks and you move you move around him. He gets stunned, he cannot do anything. Oh yeah, I did the wrong thing. I, I don't do the final melee attack because then he breaks out of his stun. Is his HP even going down? Like, I don't see it. It's going down like so slow, I don't even see it. I think it's going down, but it's just like so absurdly slow. Can I hit him one little bit with my mouth? I, I just got the last upgrade. I didn't have it even. Uh, look at look at how cool it looks. I didn't even have a chance to use this on anything. Oh, he's oh he's shitting on the knife fight. He's using long range weapons. He's disc spamming. That means I'm allowed to use the mouth. Yeah, look at how faster his HP goes down when I use the mouth. Come on. Ah uh -huh. you. You can also do the same thing, you just do one, two melee attacks, you move around. Or if you want to do this super combo to extra damage. I don't think the combos do that much damage, the final, I would assume the final attack will do more damage. But it doesn't seem like it. Oh, it's like too easy like this, you just get sent he cannot fight back. But I need to be careful, because in the last area it's very dangerous, because he's, one of his attacks can knock you out of the, out of the platform, and he instantly dies. By killing Hunter, Scarface will be absolved of all his sins. Of all this shit, he's gonna be able to fully unfuck the situation. And thus, he will be remembered forever as one of the best predators who have ever existed. My god, so many predators. Oh, he's cloaked. Yeah, you cannot target lock if he's cloaked. Oh, now you run. You, that's all you do. You just run away. Run away. Run back to your daddy, you're running back to your mama. No, because both are dead. Because I killed both. You cannot run back to them. Come back here. I'm gonna spank you. I'm your real father. Like, they, they, maybe they should have given like a Darth, Darth Vader line to Scarface against Thunder. I mean Hunter. 
uh, because like like uh, uh, Isabel considers Scarface to be the true father of Hunter because he he is what made Hunter strong. It was not Bruno. Bruno was weak. It was uh, his blood, Scarface's blood, that made Hunter actually be a real man. So in technically, this is like a father-son fight. Oh no! I'm not risking dying here. Fuck you. I'm your real father. Bruno was a fucking pussy. Your mother, your mother lo loved me much more than him. And we're about to end this. Scarface is just so fucking evil. I can understand. I'm pretty sure that after a hundred years in that fucking insect plant, desert plant, whatever, he probably lost. Oh shit! No, his glide is very strong. He can like one shot me. No, I'm not even risking. You dead. Bye bye. And Scarface just like, I think that this is the side effects of staying 100 years in that insect desert planet. He's just like so fucking frustrated of, of what happened. And he's just like, he's just mocking Hunter. He just wants to torture him psychologically before literally ripping his head off. That's evil. And also trolling. And he's just staring him down like that. He's like, dude, I made you what you are. If, if you were not from my blood, it would have been nothing. And I'm like, yeah, I'm taking your head now. I mean, it kind of makes you feel a little bit like the, at the final scene when Hunter looks like knowing that he's going to die. But you remember all the shit that Hunter did? Like, Hunter is the bigger evil of these two. Yay! I mean, Scarface has been like waiting a hundred fucking years to be able to do this. It was like his own, his whole purpose of keep, of continuing to live, of surviving, was to be able to do this, to get his honor back, to be able to avenge, uh, to get no, just get his revenge against the Borgia family, and this was the ultimate revenge to get be able to be responsible to, for the death of pretty much all of them. And this year, I, I'm like, okay, he just painted the head of Bruno Borgia on. Like on, on the symbol of his clan, I think this is what's supposed to mean. But I'm like, ah, eh, whatever. Don't see much of a big deal here. I mean, it's supposed to be. Oh, it's a presentation of. I don't know. I, I just. I, I. How does he even do that? Because we didn't see like he had to like. I, it makes me think like, how did he do that? Like, he, did he just like jump down before going to the ship? And he was like, he took a little bit of blood on his hand and he just like stamped the painting. Or did he do it like on top of his ship? I always wonder like how did Scarface painted that blood? Or maybe it was the ship, maybe it was the other predators, like I don't know. Also another thing that I like to point, like before going to the ship, when Predator looks at it, I mean Scar when the Scarface looks at it, he looks a little disappointed. I think that he like he lost like he this was his goal for so long. He wanted to, to kill Hunter or like just uh, do regain his honor for so long. So now that he has done it, he feels a little bit empty, you know? He feels like a little oh shit, what I do with my life now? Oh, I guess just gonna be go back to hunting normal prey, whatever. Goddamn, it's not gonna be the same thing. Like this was just so important to him that now he completed his ultimate goal. It's like his 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 purpose in life has decreased a little bit. You know, his drive to keep going forward. Oh well. And anyway, I like I, I really like the setting of this final boss fight because it's very symbolic because it's on top of Bruno's Bruno's statue. Which is like the father of a hunter, the guy that you killed a hundred years ago. It's like he has a little bit of a symbolism, you can say. Because you climb these two big places here where you have these statues of both Hunter and Bruno to symbolize the father and son that made this whole thing possible. Cause this game is really like a family family thing, you know, it's like a it, this game is a lot about like it might not it might not be seen this way by many people, but it's a lot about family. It's about about like family and relationships in a way, you know. Because of the thing about Bruno, his son, his wife, Scarface, like a triangle thing going on there with Isabel just wanting, having like, a seeing Scarface, like, falling in love with Scarface, whatever. Kind of crazy. But it's like a family-centered kind of game. And now there is another twist here, another way of the, the, the writers trying to make it fit within the Alien series. Uh, the whale and the Utani whale. I mean, before this is like before they they join. They're about to join, I believe, or they're about to like just become Congratulations partners. Congratulations on a successful buyout, whale and son. 
Yeah, this is another thing that make it harder to fit this game within the current timeline of the Alien Predator series. We have like a, a, a Wayland guy, a Wayland boss, that is like having a deal with the Utility Company, and they are also buying, a, buying out whatever is left of the of the Borgia industry. This is why I think that Scarface killed all the aliens, because if there are still aliens in the Borgia industry, uh, a Wayland Utility wouldn't be in such a hurry to get aliens from, from the alien movies, you know? Thanks to Mistress Lucretia, we now yeah. have and now about other things, you know, you guys remember the modern computer from the alien movies? In here they try to push the, that computer has been actually a biological computer, has been actually a person behind it. Apparently, they call it yeah, it's, uh, Lucretia replaces Isabel has new modern computer, which like, uh, like uh, uh, Hunter used his mother, Isabel, has like the, the, the computer that controls the system of Neonopolis. Now Wayland is gonna use Wayland Industries are gonna are gonna use Lucretia has new mother computer that we see in the alien, in the in the alien movies, which is kind of like I I don't I don't like, I just I don't like Lucretia like that. It just feels like like I said this game is crazy. It's crazy, but I like it. But that that final scene there, I was just like. I mean, it was before like the latest movies, like it was in 2005, AVP, the first AVP movie that just came out. I can understand what they had in mind there, with trying to connect the AVP movie, that was like a, a prequel to the alien movies at the time, that was like the mindset they had back then. I like the idea of them like showing Wayland Yutani, like, uh, how they knew about the events of this, how they knew about the existence of alien and predators, of them buying whatever is left of Borgia industry and continuing, continuing them. Like, the, Borgia is like the predecessors of Wayland Yutani. And I kind of like that because Borgias are like the real deal. Will and Utania just follow their footsteps. And I mean, Scar thank God we had Scarface to take care of the Borgias because they are like the big, really big threat. Will and Utania are like, are like just a, a bunch of pussies compared to what the Borgias are. Like, the Borgias are able, able to accomplish much more than Will and Utania like a hundred years before, you know? So I kind of like that aspect, you know, of showing Will and Utania together. Showing that, that I like that. I just don't like this stuff about Lucretia and the modern computer. I think that I don't know. It just feels unnecessary. I don't really care. I never made such a big deal in the alien movies about the modern computer. It's just a fucking computer. It doesn't have to have like a actual human mind behind it. It doesn't have to be like a like a biological computer. That's what they try to do here. I think that I think that's just too much over the top. But I also like the whole thing about the. I mean, the level about the porn star hookers, mercenaries using print technology was also over the top. So it just fits this game, because this game is fucking crazy, storyline-wise. Son of the city, legendary gangster boss Bruno Borgia Hunter was a sickly child only saved by accident when his mother Isabel wounded Bruno's killer, me, Scarface, and splashed the newborn infant with in inhuman blood. With newfound rootiness and strength, Hunter set out to be, a, to be worthy of his father, building a business empire on the basis of alien technology. I mean, I suppose the, the, the weapons that Scarface left behind, his mother took it, and ever since he was uh, like young, uh, his mother has put it into his head, the whole thing about following Bruno, using the parallel technology, everything, you know. While Bruno's industry is thriving by any means necessary, Hunter increasingly left its management to his own daughter, Lucretia. Meanwhile, Hunter traveled to world hunting big game, has his stories of signs of the other visits by demons who make trophies. I mean, yeah, that's how I believe that he heard about the events in the AVP movie, which is how he ended up fighting the alien queen and bring it to his place, and that's how he bred out those aliens. Experiments in genetics and cybernetics kept young Hunter young and powerful even as he, he neared his 103rd birthday. Ultimately, Hunter desires to emulate his father in blood was to kill him, and has the Anopolis bore witness to who was truly the ultimate predator. Truly emulate his father in blood was to kill him. I mean, I, I, I suppose when they say father, his, his father in blood, is that I suppose that's supposed to mean Scarface, like his true father, because the father that actually gave him his blood. And I, I like here that he, in his skull, like you, you see his teeth, like he has like pointed teeth because of the predator, uh, hybridization, or whatever. His skull here, he has like the, you know, in his forehead, he has like a little bit of the formation there that some predators have in their foreheads, you know, the crests. And also his neck has like a metal parts red right there, like it does for the machine man. Because the same thing that he did to my to the I mean not machine, the monster squad. God damn it, I mixed it up everything in this game. Same thing here, like same thing with the monster squad. Same thing that happened to the monster squad, Hunter did to himself. So he's like a human predator cyborg hybrid. It's crazy, like it's just so over the top. 
Hunter was like the biggest threat that maybe the Predator race had could ever face. It was like the one to have potential to actually be really like lead humanity in a way that were, like they, they could become a threat to actually to the whole Predator race. But and he was really strong. He was smart. He was strong. He is like a super. He's like a super villain. Like in a way. Like he's like super something that you could think of, like in a comic book uh, villain kind of guy. You know. And yeah, I mean he was impressive. His feats here. I uh, I like the character of Hunter. Even though he's a little over the top. Like how he was managed to just conquer. Like pretty much like it was like his goal was uh, to. Oh, he said oh, on planet Earth, man is the ultimate predator. He tried to just push that no matter what. He believed like. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Predators, the aliens that visit us and hunt us, see that we are better than them. And like he was like really over the top and he was really willing to do everything to be able to suppress the predators and become oh, humans are gonna be the true predators in this planet. Yeah, it's a really interesting concept of the storyline. And I wish he had like we could like learn more about his past, how he was like growing up, because I assume that his mother has been like uh, brainwashing him ever since he was I was a like, little boy to be like oh this was your father this is what happened to him you have to be better than him. you have to be you have to be like your father to be better than him because he lost to this this creature and you must be suppressed and you must be even stronger than that you must be better than your father you must be brighter than the predators and well I suppose Lucretia took the predator technology to herself the ones that the weapons that Scarface left uh, in 1930 and he like he, he, he and her he, he and his mother like used the technology to Grow, grow their 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 company from from little, you know. They use that technology, and I I just wish they had like more backstory because it's really interesting. Like how Hunter Boja grew up, how was like his hundred years of life, because he has been alive for a long time. He has been through a lot. He has been known for life, so he had a lot of years to be able to build his empire. Because most people usually when they are when they are reaching his age, they are almost dying. But uh, because of since he has predator blood on him, he managed to just stay alive, and he was gonna be continue to be stay alive. He was like he is like he is like what uh, emperors would want to be, like which is almost immortal. Because the only thing that limits a lot of humans about uh, uh, politicians, leaders, uh, dictators, emperors is like mortality. And Hunter did not have to worry about that. He could live for hundreds of years as long as he kept like. Uh, taking predator blood, taking predator flesh, could like experiment on himself. And when he started to use the cyborg thing, like which is probably like a predecessor, also the other thing that like Wayland Yutani, uh, I mean the Borges are predecessors to Wayland Yutani, is not only the desire to take a kill, get aliens and predators, but also the whole cybernetic thing about the synthetics. Like, Bor it kind of feels like in this game that they're trying to push the Borges also started with the whole uh synthetic thing, but uh, because we see like the those exosuits that the cops use to have like syntags on, on, on side of them and also the whole thing about cyborgs like Hunter was like using using the whole cybernetic advancement on, on himself so it would really be really interesting if they had like a more backstory on him you know like he made like a, a comic book or just like they could have added like game files like that, that you could like find them within the game to tell more, more about, I mean, how it was for Hunter on his 100 years. But yeah, I mean, he didn't have the limits of a normal human. He could live for much longer, which allowed him to have more time to keep living, to getting stronger, to just keep progressing. He, I mean, his empire only grew more and more through, the, through each of the decades. And if it were not for his Scarface, like, he could have, like, conquered the whole planet. That's pretty much how I see it. That's why I call him, like, a, a over-the-top comic book supervillain. Because it, was, it felt like that was the direction where he was heading. Well, this was my let's play of Predator Concrete Jungle. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Bye bye.